Hey, what's up? This is Alf here from Open Source Channel. Yes, not to Open Source and Z Panel. We're going to rebrand again to Open Source Channel pretty soon. Thanks again and welcome to another very exciting video tutorial. Today we are going to take a look on how to install RunCube on your server. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe, share my video and like it, and you can follow me on blogger and or Twitter. Now let's start. I'm going to download the latest version and I'm going to download the complete version. Once I done that, I'm going to open it and I'm going to unzip it to my desktop. Show me the folder there. As you can see, I already downloaded it anyway. Double click and and I'm going to done it as I already, as you can see here, already unzipped it. Now I'm going to upload the entire content of the file to my server. There we go, we're going to uh, upload it now. It shouldn't take long. Now while it's doing it, I'm going to go to the MySQL PHP my admin to create a database. Click on database and I'm going to create a called a database called email. And I click on create. I'm going to close it now. And I'm going to, okay, that's been done. So I'm going to the domain name where I'm going to install the run cube. Now, as you can see, it doesn't work because if you look at the actual uh, entire directory, we go to install a folder. This is exactly where we want to redirect the browser. Now, everything looks pretty good. Uh, all it's telling me here that I this, this is not available. This is not being installed on my server. As you can see, I'm using a ZAM server. So most of this stuff has not been, you know, not been installed at all. File info is not there. I haven't installed it. And also all other extensions have not been installed. But anyway. Everything else looks fine, enough for the actual installation, so I'm going to press next and uh, support URL, I'm going to put exactly this one here, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it. For the rest it looks pretty good, errors there, root drivers, run cube. Now that's what we want to start to change. Uh, MySQL is fine, localhost is fine. Now this one I created called email. The username is root. This is for logically for my MySQL. Uh, for yours, you can use whatever is on your server or whatever you whatever you created for. Now the EMAP settings. This is what I'm going to use, and. If you use SSL in maps, you, you need to use this. This is exactly what I'm going to use it. Or otherwise, you actually could use uh, just, if you don't want to use it, I mean, the one I'm using now is going to be with and without. So, you know, you can actually use it without if you wanted to. So you could use it like this, or you can use it like this. Now, this is the username that I need to use. Now I think this is my email address. Uh, logically you can have a username or your email address. It depends your uh, provider. So 
So this is what I'm going to use. Everything looks pretty good, pretty neat. So I'm going to create config. Now, as you can see here, it has created two files. Now you can create manually and copy this and paste it, or you can actually download the files. This is exactly what I'm going to do. Going back again, checking, make sure everything is fine. Pressing continue. Now, as you can see, this is not okay because logically I have not uploaded to my server. So let's do this now. Showing folder. Config. Going back here. And I'm going to refresh. Now, this base is not being initialized. I'm going to initialize it. I again. Refresh. That's fine. I'll remove this now and should be okay. Here we go. Now, so we're going to put the username now. And the password. And I'm going to click on login. Now it works on any IMAP uh, server. And as you can see, everything's pretty and working perfectly. There's no much difference to the one you can find on major uh, control panel like cPanel or Plesk. Logically, you can customize it with your logo if you wanted to. You can compose, retrieve emails without any problem. Thanks again for watching my tutorials. Please subscribe, email, you know, you can share it. You can like it. You can follow me on Blogger, Twitter. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.